The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law, and today we're going to talk about motions to reconsider a divorce judgment in Illinois. A motion to reconsider is a motion that asks the court to overturn a previous order, and it's one of many forms of post-judgment relief that a party can seek. So if you want to challenge your divorce judgment, there's a couple different ways to do that. Motions to reconsider are one of those ways. We have a different article and video at learn-about-law.com that talks about all the different options you have if you want to challenge an order that you disagree with. So while the motion to reconsider is pending, the original order is stayed, which means that it's put on hold and the parties don't have to comply with its terms, except for a few exceptions. Uh, so the parties will remain divorced. They, it doesn't reverse the divorce if you file a motion to reconsider. And child support and spousal maintenance still need to be paid according to the order that you're challenging while the motion to reconsider is pending. So motions to reconsider are not intended to allow the parties to get a second bite at the apple if they lost a trial. They're not intended to allow the parties to raise new legal theories that they didn't raise at trial or raise new arguments based on facts that were available at the time of trial. Instead, motions to reconsider are intended to inform the court of new evidence that was discovered after the original hearing through no fault of the party that's filing the motion to reconsider. Uh, changes in the law that have occurred since the original hearing on the order that was entered or errors in the court's application of existing law. So if you believe the court erred, the type of thing that you would file an appeal for uh, in the way that they applied the law to the facts of the case, then you can raise that in a motion to reconsider. You have 30 days from the date of the order that you're challenging to file a motion to reconsider unless the court issues an extension within that 30-day period. If you miss this deadline, you still have the option to file a motion for relief from judgment within two years uh, of the date of the order or longer in certain circumstances. And that's one of the other uh, ways to challenge a court order that we discuss in our video and article on post-trial motions. Let's talk a little bit about motions to reconsider versus appeals. So a motion to reconsider is filed with the court that issued the original order, and that court has discretion as to whether to overturn the order. An appeal is filed with a different court, the appellate court, which will review the, uh, the facts of the case and the way that the lower court applied those facts to determine whether to overturn their ruling. Both an appeal and a motion to reconsider can be used to argue that the lower court erred in the application of existing law. However, appeals, unlike motions to reconsider, are not used to raise newly discovered facts or changes in the law since, uh, since the date of the order. Uh, most motions to reconsider um, are, are not granted by the court that issued them, to be honest, because that's within the discretion of the court unless it's newly discovered facts. Um, but a motion to reconsider will pause the deadline to appeal. So it often makes sense if you're challenging the uh, lower court's order um, to file a motion to reconsider first and it, see if the, put basically the lower court on notice that you're about to file an appeal and see if a new argument that you're making as to why they made a poor decision in the way they applied the law will work on the lower court level. And if you lose on the motion to reconsider, you can then file an appeal uh, basically on the same basis with the appellate court. That does give you two bites at the apple. Uh, so if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below this post at learn-about-law.com or below the video on our YouTube station. If you need some help, give us a call at 630-324-6666. That's 630-324-6666. We offer free consultations in many areas of law, and we have several geographic locations for your convenience. Uh, if you found this helpful, we'd love it if you would subscribe to us on YouTube, SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to your podcasts or watch your videos. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Click the subscribe button for new videos every week and download and review us on iTunes. Visit learn-about-law.com for other legal-related articles and videos. Visit our business podcast and video blog, seizeyourbusiness.com. And visit Making Real Estate Fun for real estate videos and podcasts. Call us at 630-324-6666 for a free consultation.